Hi, welcome to Flutter Junction. Today we are going to learn how to create foldable scroll in Flutter. Uh, and our final applications are behaved as follows. Right. For that, you need to have your project created. Before that, if you haven't subscribed my video, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get updated on up upcoming tutorials. Right. If you haven't created your project, please pause the video and follow the link above and the card in this video. Right. Let's move on. For that, let's delete this. We are going to create our own homepage in library leave folder and I will name it homepage dot dot and we are going to import material package from plotter and we are going to create a stateful widget of homepage hence stateful widget it overrides at the create state method we create the state of create state of home base and our state would be home base state class our home base state extends the state of home base and then we will override our build function build method build context context and then we return scaffold scaffold is the screen that is visible on your mobile application or emulator and we give our app bar App bar would be and we give title text or give fold label scroll and this is the const value so I would give it const and then we define our body column children text children and widgets children parameters and then I would write text hi and then we import our home page here but and then before that <coughs> let's set key constructor and home page home page and now we reload and then we get hi here right before designing our home page let's create our page view item the items the single item as shown in the images here and for that I will name page underscore view underscore item dot dot now we import our material package here and we create the stateless page view item we don't have to change the state here We take some parameters the index and final string image URL double width of the item and then let's first create our build method override. Get field build context context return card here 
and then let's create constructor here right now we design our card first we give elevation elevation of 5 then we have child text image dot network that we are going to load our url and our we want to fit cover that means it covers all the uh, visible area and we give the width of the width here this is the width of the our item this view item right now we create our data our images I have already created my area of images. You can use images as for your need. Right, we are set up. Now let's go to home page. Before that, let's configure our page view. First, let's define our page of page view is equals zero. It means the current page of the view base. page view and then int get first item index from page dot to int we are returning integer from here it means it is the index of the leftmost element of the List to be displayed and then our controller of the page view named it controller equals page controller let's remove this sorry we can need this for some sake and then you put fraction I will give it 3.5 and this is the controller to get the current position position of the page view now we calculate the item width of the item select <coughs> final Item width equals media query dot of context dot size dot width. This media query gives the width of the screen of any devices. Asterisk of and then we multiply it with preferred fraction to get it adjusted as per our need in the screen. And this gives the width of the single item. And then we have to initialize our constructor in this state. This and our honest controller add listener. This listens our controller if the page is changing or not. Then we set state remove uh, this and we close this set state that means our page will be controller dot page right now build our uh, items here for that Stack. stack keeps the uh, children one above other children and position not field mm -hmm. 
your set ti your position dot fill the text size align alignment alignment dot center left that means we are going to align our item to center left let's refactor it and then it takes again check the size size box and we will give width that would be our item width here we have calculated our item width and then our child fractionally fractionally size box and our child will be the page view item and we have four parameters here index url and width and key and our index would be the first item index and then width would be item width that we have already calculated here <coughs> and our url will be the model sorry we have already defined here the name is model model of first item index it gives the item of first item from the model and then again side box and then first we are going to keep height I will give two fifty, and then the size would be our page view dot builder. It takes item builder uh, that would be it takes two parameters context and the index, and then we return opacity. This widget is responsible. Uh, to reduce the opacity of the widget and opacity would be if our index is less than or equals to first item index that means our if our index is uh, first item index then our opacity would be zero that means it is not visible if then we are going to if then we are going to show here that means we give one and it takes child our child will be page view item and our index will be now the index here this index and width would be item width And you are going to be model model index. Sorry, model index. Right now, let's provide the controller here in the page builder, and the pads in that means uh, we ignore the padding. at the end and our controller will be the controller we have already initialized here and defined here right let's reload it right we got our output oh, we got an error here uh, for that 
maximum we got an error here right <coughs> got some mistake right we haven't given error item count our item count will be model dot length let's reload it right now it's working fine right this, this much for today if you like this video please like comment and subscribe uh, if you have any queries regarding this video please uh, ping me and comment i will try to address all, your, all of your queries and if you want to suggest me some tutorials please ping me and comment or you can mail me at flutterjohnson at the gmail.com don't forget to subscribe and get notified for upcoming videos thank you